Heather Graham's writing career began with 1982's When Next We Love and has been going strong ever since. The New York Times bestselling author has written over 100 novels and novellas, and they've ranged from romance to time travel, the occult, Christmas celebrations, and historical fiction. I've been very lucky in that um, my reading is all across the board. I've always loved to read anything from fiction, nonfiction, mystery, romance, horror, historical, I mean, just, just everything. Um, so there's very little, in fact, I can't think of anything that I would not be comfortable attempting. And I think it's, um, it's also fun to go in new directions all the time. I, I do short stories now and then too, and I switch over to first person. Um, and it's just always like a nice challenge. You always get to do something a little bit new. Unlike many writers, Graham does not have a set writing schedule or location, and that's all due to how she got started writing. I write whenever I can. When I had started, it's funny when I look back at writing, um, I had been, uh, I'd been doing dinner theater and some commercial work in Florida, and then the auditioning time that I was away from home was just way too much because we were about to have our third child. And I started writing when he was born, and two years later, I got a lot of rejections, but then two years later, uh, when my first daughter was born, I also sold my first book. So it's, uh, it's just been crazy the whole time, because I, as long as I could hear all the kids, because I now have five, so if you could hear them, everything was fine. I'm really good with chaos. I think, um, I kind of think I turned into a Dr. Seuss book. I can write on a plane, I can write on a train going far in a car, <laughs> you know, it's just like, they really did. The kids allowed me that luxury to be able to kind of think or work wherever I am. Asked by many aspiring authors for writing advice, hers is simple, read. I th one of the most important things I think that I hear sometimes from people who are just starting out writing um, is like, oh, I don't have time to read anymore. You always need time to read. You need to remember why you love the written word and why you want to write. I do think it's true that you need to write what excites you, write what you love, write what you want to read yourself. Um, listen to criticism, but also remember it's your work. You know, you'll have a lot of criticism in a lot of different directions. It's your work. You got to go with what you believe the most. Um, s stick to it. Just absolutely stick to it. You can't. Uh, can't say you want to write a book and then write two chapters and, oh yeah, I'll get back to it at some point. If you only work an hour a week, two hours a week, whatever, stick to it, be disciplined, get it done. Graham gets her ideas from all kinds of sources and is using her Irish heritage for an upcoming suspense series that revolves around an Irish pub. It's going to be a straight suspense series and it will always circle around a place called Finnegan's on Broadway. and. Uh, a lot of it is taken from, my mom was born in Dublin, so I have a lot of very lovely, wonderful, crazy Irish relatives <laughs> to make use of. Um, New York just has a number of fabulous pubs, and I think there's also, it's funny because people have a tendency to say, oh, it's a bar, and it's kind of like, a pub is a little bit different. A pub traditionally is, uh, it's a more of a meeting place, you know, it's where you go it's almost, <laughs> I guess the American version would be cheers, you know, you kind of, it's a, it's a very um, social gathering type thing, not just where you go, you know, for a drink, which you can, of course, get there too. <laughs> but then, it, you know, they have, they have good food, they have traditional Irish food, they bring in good music. Um, but uh, the main two characters, the one is an FBI agent who becomes involved during a diamond heist, and uh, the young lady who's the daughter, the one daughter of this family, the parents are gone, the kids are now managing the pub, and the brothers had gotten into quite a bit of trouble when they'd been younger, so she always has to be very careful with the FBI agent that she doesn't wind her brothers up in prison, <laughs> so it's a little balanced thing going there. BCPL met up with Graham at the Creatures, Crimes, and Creativity Con, an annual gathering of writers and fans of reading. This year's con is in September and will feature Alexandra Sokolov and other top authors.